High up in the deathly quiet of the Himalayas, where the air is thin and biting, a group of experienced climbers dared to challenge the mighty Mount Everest. They were led by the distinguished mountaineer, Captain Richard Collins, their hearts filled with the burning desire to etch their names into the annals of history. Yet, they were woefully unaware of the brutal ordeal that the mountain had in store for them. As they scaled the unforgiving heights, the weather turned hostile. Blizzards roared around them, obliterating the path forward. The climbers held on to each other, battling through towering snowdrifts and treacherous ice fields. Their lungs screamed for oxygen and frostbite began to claw at their extremities, turning fingers and toes into numb, lifeless appendages. Then, in the dead of a cruel Himalayan night, disaster struck. A colossal avalanche thundered down upon their camp, burying their supplies and smashing their radio communication. Stranded and desperate, they sought refuge in a makeshift ice cave, high up on the mountain's icy slopes. With their provisions dwindling and no way to call for help, they were ensnared in a frozen purgatory. Time blurred as days morphed into weeks. Rescue was a distant dream, and hunger was a constant companion. As their bodies weakened, a horrifying prospect began to take root. In hushed whispers, they discussed the unthinkable, cannibalizing their deceased companions. As their situation grew grimmer, they succumbed to this macabre necessity, driven by a primal instinct to survive. Captain Collins, once a vibrant leader, was reduced to a haunted husk, tormented by the choices he had been forced to make. His team, once strong and determined climbers, were now mere specters, battling against nature's fury and their own moral erosion. Down below the world had declared them lost, swallowed up by the mountain's icy clutches. But destiny had one more card to play. A rogue radio signal pierced the relentless winds, a lifeline for the beleaguered climbers. Braving the elements, a rescue team scaled the perilous slopes and reached the cave. The sight that greeted them was beyond comprehension, a handful of survivors, their bodies wasted, their eyes reflecting an unspeakable horror. The gruesome discovery sent shockwaves around the world. The survivors were airlifted off the mountain, but the psychological scars of their harrowing ordeal would never heal. The story of their doomed expedition spread across the globe, serving as a chilling reminder of nature's merciless might and the horrifying depths to which humans can descend when pushed to the edge of survival.